Suns take the final game of this series by a 7-1 final, split this series with Pensacola. Roger here, we're now joined by the manager of the Jacksonville Suns, Andy Barquette, and some late runs really powering Jacksonville to win. Yeah, it was a dog fight till the seventh. Um, bench did a great job tonight. Fisher came up in the ninth or in the seventh and got that big hit to tie it. Um, you know, and then Yelich comes up, gets a hit to put us ahead. Uh, we've been scuffling the score runs, so we get two big hits like that. I think Fisher's hit really invigorated the team and got you know everybody a little bit more confident. Um, yeah, I mean, in the, in the eighth, Lomo hits the big two-run homer. Jensen follows it up with a solo shot. Uh, you know, we, we've been waiting on that type of production out of both of them. Uh, Jensen's been swinging back good. The wind's been hurting him. It's been a tough series to hit. Uh, but it was nice to see the guys score late, stay in the game, stay focused. It was a playoff uh, mentality in the dugout tonight, so a lot of positive things. You mentioned Logan Morrison getting the home run. He was one for 13 in his rehab stint prior to that, but really connected there and starting to seem like a Lomo of old. Yeah, I mean, you know, he hadn't been playing. He's been hurt. He's talked about it every night. He's, he's trying. He, this is like a spring training for him. He needs to get his 50, 60, 100 at bats, whatever it is, and then my release to get ready to go back to the big leagues. And that's a process that takes time. It takes time for your bat head to find your contact point and then, you know, find a point where you can drive the ball. So uh, it's coming around. He got a good pitch to hit. I think that made him more confident as well. And uh, even though he, he, he missed a pitch in 3 0s, last at bat, he, he definitely had a good at bat, was on pitches, so it looks good. And so now, will he stay with the ball club for this upcoming series in Jacksonville? Yeah, he's going to stay with us. He's going to come play tomorrow. Uh, it's an off day, travel day for him. And then uh, the next four, he's going to play Monday through Thursday with us. How about the starting pitching tonight? Colin did a nice job. Uh, a couple uh, concentration lapses cost him a run, and that's maybe being a little bit nitpicky, but you know we, we've been in a, in a tough battle with them. Uh, for five games now, hard scoring runs and starting pitching, you know, there's not really much room for error. Uh, but I think he attacked hitters for the most part. His stuff was good. He was in control of the game uh, for the most part, except for that one inning. Did a nice job. You mentioned a playoff like intensity in the dugout tonight. Do you expect that to continue with only 15 games left to go in the first half? I would think so. I, would, I, I expect it to continue. I know that's going to be my mentality. I feel like these guys are on, on board as well and, and, and uh, they understand where we're at and what we have to do. And, um, so, I mean, they were locked in. They, they were locked in for 27 outs today. They've been, they've been like that for, this, for the whole season for the most part. So I was, I was happy with the way they played. And then to wrap things up, Jake Marisnik, we saw him get hit in the helmet by a pitch. He left the ball game. What can you tell us about his status? He's fine. I mean, you know, he, got, he took a shot in the head and kind of rung his bell. Uh, thank God that the helmet, uh, you know, I think absorbed most of the blow. Uh, I think he was a little bit dazed. But I don't think there's anything that uh, could raise any concern. Uh, he was evaluated by the medical staff after the game here in Pensacola. They did a great job of being in the dugout for us or in the clubhouse. And uh, you know, he may miss a couple days just as a precaution, and then he'll be back at it here pretty soon. But thank God he's okay. Thanks, Andy. Thanks,